Hello, a very warm welcome to uh, this video on how to play uh, in Dadgadden, how to play in particular a song called Slip Jigs and Reels by uh, Steve Tilston. Um, now the thing about these series of videos is uh, what I'm hoping to do is not just teach you how to play the song Slip Jigs and Reels but show you how to play generally in Dadgad so that you can play along with slip jigs and reels and hornpipes and uh, similar Irish and Celtic uh, dance music. Dadgad is a great, great way of accompanying um, Irish session musicians uh, playing jigs and reels and the like. But uh, first of all, I need standard tuning. And before I drop it into Dadgad, what I'd like to do is just run through the chords uh, in standard tuning, just to show you that um, it's basically centred around the chords of D, G and A uh, and B minor. And you can indeed play the song in, uh, in standard tuning. Um, so here we go in, in D. He was barely a man in his grandfather's coat, sewn into the lining, potentially note. Goodbye to the family, goodbye to the shore. Till I taste good fortune, you'll see me no more. A boat on the ocean, tossed like a cork. Then one fine morning, he sighted New York. He stood on the gangplank. Breathe in the air Hello land of plenty I've come for me share And he did like the ladies The rise and the fall Of the ramp calls and dresses Down on the dance floor And rolling the dice And spinning the wheel But he took most delight In the slip jigs and reels Now I know I didn't get that spot on, but I've never ever played it in standard tuning before. It's just to show you that it, basically it's centred all around those three chords. D, G and A, or A7, with a B minor. And it's switching between particularly D and A or A7 quite quickly. That's the essence of the song really, it's all about being able to change chords quickly um, and playing also in Dadgad variations of these three chords of D, G and A uh, to give the song real depth and flavour. Okay, let's uh, move on now and just drop this into Dadgad tuning. First off, the sixth string, slightly it off and match it up to the fourth. So we've got two D notes, an octave apart. And then, slacken off your first string and drop that down. Also a tone to D, matching it up to the fourth string. Finally, your second string, the B string, drop down a tone to A, so we can match it up to the fifth string. So I've got that gun tuning. Let's uh, move on now and look at uh, those three main chords in Dadgad and variations on them. Right, oh, let's look at the chords now that are in this song. First of all, D chords and uh, variations on, on D. At the seventh fret, using either the second and third fingers or the third and fourth fingers, we need to fret the first string at the seventh 
on the third string of the seventh. So choose a couple of fingers, either second and third fingers or third and fourth fingers. And you can strum all six strings to get a lovely full sound in D. And a variation on that, you can introduce your first finger on the second string at the fifth fret and strum again. All six strings. Slightly different sound. Next, moving down to the second and fourth frets with first and fourth fingers. First finger, third string at the second fret, fourth finger, sixth string, first string, sorry, not the sixth, first string at the fourth fret. Okay, I wouldn't uh, fret it like that with these fingers tucked away, I'm just doing it like that so you can see. But get yourself a comfortable position. To fret those two strings. And that's another D chord. Another variation, very, very simple. Just the first finger on the third string at the second fret. Another great sounding full bodied D chord. And final variation on it, you can add your third finger or your fourth finger in the fourth fret on the fourth string. Just one finger, without that fourth finger at the fourth fret, and then added. And those are the D chords.